next week. There's been an unusual development in the murder case of former Decatur police officer Mac Marquette, who's charged with the September on duty shooting of Stephen Perkins outside of his home. For months after the shooting, multiple community protests featured calls for the release of officer body camera footage. Law enforcement agencies and the Morgan County District Attorney turned down those requests. But this morning, the conservative Alabama website 1819.com released what appears to be body cam video from the Perkins shooting. News 19 Chief Investigative Reporter Brian Lawson joins us now with more. So, Brian, it's not clear how the website got the video. Yeah, that's right. The website says it's the it's video the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency provided to the Morgan County DA's office. Aliyah investigated the Perkins shooting. News 19 asked Aliyah if they've released the video publicly, and a spokesman said they did not and they denied our request for access to the video. News 19 does not have permission to the air the video, so we aren't doing so. Now, in announcing Marquette's indictment in January, Morgan County DA Scott Anderson said a grand jury reviewed all the evidence that was gathered in Aaliyah's investigation before issuing a murder indictment. Up to today, only wide, the only widespread release of video from the shooting was from Perkins' neighbor's security camera. That video shown here is across the street from where the new body cam footage showing the deadly shooting takes place. Anderson said in January he would not release police body cam video because it could affect the criminal case. He said the security camera video prompted rumors and half-truths. That, that evidence, while it is still good evidence, is tainted with opinions. And it, it also taints a jury pool because if a jury has seen evidence outside the courtroom that is eventually going to come in the courtroom, then we have to make sure that they can set whatever they've heard or thought about that evidence aside, and some of them can't. And so if I released uh, the body cam footage, I would be contributing to that, and I'm not going to do that. Now, a gag order in the case was issued Friday, barring the parties from releasing any information publicly. Coming up at 5, we'll hear community reaction to this release of body cam footage from the Perkins shooting. Greg? All right, thank you, Brian.